thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Emilio, I work in technology and I absolutely love it. And on this video, we're gonna be talking about the Synology NAS, specifically antivirus. Do you need antivirus? How do you install antivirus onto a Synology NAS? We're gonna be talking about that today. Please do what you do on the socials by subscribing so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Hey, so before we do get into this video, if you are like me and you love the Synology NAS, you may have one, you're thinking about getting one, but if you wanna know more about the Synology NAS, in the show notes below, I've got a full length training course about all things Synology NAS. How to set it up, how to configure it, how to configure all the applications, how to get it working best for you, and a whole bunch more all around the Synology NAS. So check out the show notes, full length online training course that I know that you will definitely find helpful. So talking about antivirus on the Synology NAS, let's now cross over to my computer. I'm logged in to my Synology NAS. I'm just going to connect to the IP address or the fully qualified name of my Synology NAS and log in and then we go from there. So we've logged into here to our DSM on our Synology NAS. And the question is, do you need any virus running on your NAS in the first place? Well, if you've got a PC, you've got a Windows, you've got a Mac, you've got some sort of a server, something that you look after, something that you use on a daily basis at home or for business, uh, well, the chances are that you're gonna have some sort of antivirus, some sort of malware protection, something running on it, or at least you should be, because um, there's bad people out there all the time writing malicious software, vulnerabilities that have been exploited on systems, and they get pushed out to devices. Now. Viruses may not be as common on Synology products as they would be on a Windows computer. You know, the Macs are not as common as Windows, but Windows will be getting a lot more, um, you know, bad things coming into it. Synology now still has viruses. There's still viruses that attack applications. There's still viruses that attack certain file types, certain operating systems. So I would almost say that, yes, you do need antivirus on your Synology NAS. It's good practice that you install antivirus on every single device that you really have as a precaution. You may never use it. It's just a little bit like insurance, right? You may never use the insurance, but when you do have to make a claim because something's gone wrong or something's been stolen, you're very glad that you do have the insurance. So I would always recommend that you do have antivirus installed on our Synology NAS. All right, so that forms a little bit of a foundation uh, around antiviruses and the importance of them. But here we are on our DSM. We're gonna show you how to install some antivirus available uh, on the Synology NAS. Now there's different versions, different applications, different um, companies that make software for the Synology NAS. We're gonna look at the ones that are come uh, available within the package center. Uh, within our um, all packages area over here, but there are others. You can actually go and download others and install them via the manual install section within our package center. Now, of course, we've opened this up by going into package center here. You can also open it up by going into the main menu and accessing package center from there. But in here, you'll see there are a couple in here. I mean, we can actually do a, um, a type in here. We can just type in virus. Press enter. And uh, well, excluding this one, there are two in here. This one is not free, okay? Hence why it says try, you can download it, you can try it for free, but then you have to have a license really to be able to use it going forward. Now, of course, McAfee or McAfee is uh, one of the more common antiviruses. You know, there's a lot of other good big brands that are out there, and this one is one of the most uh, used ones out there. So we're not gonna show you this one because you need to buy it, but it's still really good, and I still would recommend that you do install it. The one that we're gonna install is antivirus essential, right? So let's just clear out of here. You also will find it over here, sorted by name, antivirus essential. Okay, we click on that, gives you a bit of an overview. Antivirus essential is free and easy to use package that protects your Synology NAS. Now it does say that models with less than 512 meg of RAM may have a little bit of a performance hit. So some performance on your Synology NAS will be impacted. And that's pretty normal with any sort of antivirus software running on any computer or any storage device. Um, it's gonna need some resources from that Synology NAS. And the more stuff it's doing, the more resources it will need. So when you're running a scan, your Synology NAS will be running a little bit slower on top of that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install this one right here. Okay, Antivirus Essential, we're gonna say install. 
Now that will go and download it. Of course, you will need to have internet connection available on your Synology NAS, otherwise you won't be able to actually go and install it. So the other option is for you to go and actually look for Synology Antivirus Essential uh, from Google and then do a manual install and point to that installer file. But in our case, because our Synology NAS can go and see the internet, it's just gonna go ahead and download it, all right? So let's just let that do its thing. So installed, it's running. So we can now go into the main menu and there it is, antivirus essential. It'll just start doing a initializing just for the first stage. And there it is, it's ready to scan. Okay, so it's got a full scan, custom scan, system scan, bit of an overview, the current version, and zero days, uh, zero files have been quarantined at this stage. I always recommend going into the update section straight away. So you can actually do a update to ensure that the virus definitions are actually up to date. So it's out of date, there you go. So the current virus definitions, these were released on the 21st of the 12th. So there are a number of months out of date and we can click on update right now. That'll go back out to the internet and download the latest virus definitions to then install uh, within the software. The definitions are now up to date, which is great. So now we can go and look at some of the other options. So we've got the overview section before. So quarantine is where files will actually get quarantined if they are detected, uh, rather than deleting them, it'll sort of put them into this state of quarantine. And then you can make an action or a call on what you wanna do with those files. Uh, you've got some logs around what's been going on, some further settings. So choose the following options to decide on how to proceed with an infected file. Move to quarantine, do nothing. You can enable some whitelist, some smart scans, uh, updates So update virus definition before scanning. So automatically before it scans, it'll just do a quick check. Make sure that you've got the latest updates. If you don't, it'll go and download them. You can also schedule some scans. These are really, really good. And I always recommend that you do enable some form of scheduled scan. So I'm gonna set a full scan to take place uh, potentially every week, once a week. And we'll do it on a Sunday morning. All right, so a Sunday and we can do it at maybe 1 a.m., yeah? So every Sunday morning at 1 a.m., it'll then go and scan my entire NAS and then report. It's no good to have a scanner that you never run, so always do a scheduled scan. Then you've got your overview, and of course you can do a full scan, which is a scan of the whole thing, a custom scan of specific folders or files, and then a system scan, which is more just the core operating system and the core software that is required to run on your Synology NAS. So custom scan, if I select that, you can actually select manually which folder you want to scan. So in my case, I've got all of my data sitting in here and perhaps I just want to scan my photos, right? And that will scan just that one photo folder. All right, say so cancel. Or you can actually do a full scan. System scan is also very important, but the full scan will sort of cover the whole lot. So I'm going to select a full scan. So a scan was just complete, or at least I stopped it a little bit earlier, but it just shows me there that 211 files scanned and no viruses were found. So Synology NAS, yes, you do need antivirus. Good to have. That's how you install it. Hopefully you found it helpful. If you did, do what you need to do across the social medias by liking, commenting, subscribing by clicking on the face right over there. And also check out some of my other videos where we talk about storage. We talk about all things tech and a whole bunch more. Thanks again. We'll see you next time.